all Garmin chart plotters with sonar function, support quick draw contours feature, which can draw contour maps by itself. Take GPS map 1223 XSV as an example. To enable this feature, select options. Quick draw contours. Start recording. Your chart plotter will automatically draw contour maps as you sail. Next, we will show you how to read and use marine contour maps. Contour maps are a kind of map that shows depth. It can present 3D depth information on a 2D map. Each contour line joins points of equal depth under sea level. Where the contours are close together, the slope is steep. Where the contours are far apart, the slope is gentle. Knowing the topography of the seabed is very helpful for fishing and can save a lot of time for finding new fishing spots. Let's use the contour map from Garmin Navionics as an example. Usually, places with large depth changes are where you can find fish, such as this ledge. From the dense contour lines, we can see that the depth change here is large, and the depth values let us know which side deep and which side shallow. Then, choose your location to fish based on current or tide direction. For example, if the current is from south to north, you can anchor here, and place the bait at the bottom of the ledge. Next, let's take a look at this chart. The contours are quite dense here, and just form a pass. Baitfish will swim along this pass, and the big fish that hunt them may be in ambush in this hole or on this reef. Besides purchasing Garmin Navionics Plus charts, you can also use the Quick Draw Contours feature to automatically create your own contour maps, or download contours shared by other users for free from the Quick Draw Contours community. In Quick Draw Contours, you can separate different depths with different colors. Select Options Quick Draw Contours Settings Enable Depth Shading Then, tap here. Set the depth range of each color. Now, with contour maps, you can know the approximate location of fish, and go there directly, instead of using sonar to slowly scan for fish. Thanks for watching.